Sense your hands on your lap. And sense movement throughout your body with the breath. Hmm. How does it feel to be you today? <laughs> We're going to get the energy moving throughout our body. I'm just going to turn the little uh, recording reminder off there. And uh, that was a good excuse for me to get out of the chair, which we will be doing too later. So first of all, we're going to tap the body to wake up and shake out the body. So tap around the belly. I hope you've had a good healthy breakfast in there and maybe a little snack, <laughs> lots of veggie and fruit. And then we'll tap out the legs. Keep really soft wrists as you do this. And you can come to the knees and gently rub around the knees. So, Rather than just letting the mind meander, feel the shape of your bones, feel what's under your fingers. Do you feel muscles or ligaments? What does it feel like? And also, does it feel nice to be stroked? <laughs> now, if you hinge a little bit forwards and back, you can maybe reach down a little bit further and feel your bony shins. And feel the sides of the shins. Or maybe some of you might even reach and at the feet and if you don't get that far that's absolutely fine we can come all the way back up come back down maybe touch the feet wherever you can go and then coming up and then we'll come into the chest and just tap the chest and maybe it'll sound ah tap the lungs wake up the lungs and then we'll lean a little to the left and tap the right lung ha so you've got lung in the side here wherever you've got ribs you have lung Let's go across to the other side and tap there, wake it up, shake it up. Excellent. If you can come to center and reach back with your hands and tap into your low back and again make a sound. Ah. <laughs> I enjoy sounding a little crazy. It's so good. We're going to sit up tall, shake out the arms, and then keep the right arm out and tap with the left hand. Move your arm as you tap. Under your skin, there's a, a, a sort of a lovely fatty layer. Don't be afraid of fat, it keeps us warm, we love it. And it's full of these little sensory devices that are responding to vibration and touch of your tapping. It wakes up these little nerves, so we'll actually sense our bodies better for our movement class. Hmm, shake out that arm again. And then just do a little comparison. Notice the two arms. I like what I'm seeing you doing that. Do you feel a difference in the arm? If you move that arm, it feels nice and light and free. And just comparing the other arm feels just a little bit heavier, stiffer. So my brain has got an update from the input that I've just done. I want to put input on this side when you join me. <laughs> so you can begin to tap the arm and you can move it while you tap. But again, do you feel like elbow, wrist, fingers, shoulder, nice chunky muscles? <laughs> Lovely, that feels so good. Give it a shake out and then release that arm back down. Just getting a sense of the arms being really released and comfortable. Mm. Put the hands now onto the back of your neck one hand on top of the other, and we'll give a little squeeze, get some nutrition into the muscles of the neck. Nice little squeeze and release. Let your breath become smooth and flowing. And then we can bring the chin toward the chest as we squeeze the neck muscles. Take a breath in, release the squeeze, but lift the chin. Exhale, chin to chest, little squeeze of the muscles. Inhale, lift the chin, spread the elbows back a little. One more chin to chest, a little squeeze. And then we can come up, take the hands to the top of the head, <laughs> little raindrops on the top of the head. Pitter patter, pitter patter. Beautiful. Release the arms down, give a little stamp at the feet. And then we're going to give ourselves 10 seconds of noticing our body again and just seeing if, it, if there's a contrast to how we felt when we did our first check-in. 10 seconds, what do you feel in your body? So 
So I hope you're feeling a little bit more tingly, alive, and uh, circulating blood and uh, awareness. That's the key to our practice. If anything feels not good, uncomfortable, painful, don't do it. Uh, I'll give you some options in most of the things that we do today. So you being aware of you is, is the key to this. So we're going to begin today with um, a mudra. And a mudra is a hand gesture. It's very typical of yoga to do different gestures. And we've got mudras in society, you know, like, you know, an A-OK -okay or thumbs up. They're actually essentially mudras that gesture something. Um, and traditionally in mudras, depending whether you're male or female, this mudra of placing one palm into the other will tend to say, oh, put the right hand if you're a male or the female, you would put the left hand on the top. I'm going to say, let's nix that. And as we do this practice, uh, you'll switch the hand that's on the top, right? So just for the time being, just sense, you can put the right palm down on the top or the left palm. And it gives a little different feeling within your arms and your even your spine. So I want you to switch it up <laughs> if you don't mind, if you can remember. So the idea we're going to connect to today is energy rising. And if you can feel energy in your seat, we want to think of a center line through the center of your seat all the way to the top of your head, the crown of your head, out through the center of your head. So sensing energy through your center, and it's going to be rising all the way to the top of the head. And mudra is going to stop at the heart and connect to the heart energy. You know, this is the most electromagnetic place in your body, not your brain, but your heart. So just little things to, that we can focus on as we do this little practice. So we're gonna do this without the breath first, because it's gonna give you a whopping, amazingly deep breath. <laughs> so the mudra goes like this, you can follow along. We're feeling the energy rising up the body, up the body from the seat to the heart, bring the palms to the heart. And then send the energy from the heart out, 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 out. And then through the center of the top of the head. Scoop that all the way back in. And gently come back down. Now we can do the switch of the other hand on the top. Again, drawing the energy. Feel that energy lift through your body, through your body, to your heart. Open out from the heart. Feel the energy rise through the top of your head. Come back to the heart and back to the lap. We'll practice that one more time without the breath. So energy, feel the energy rising, lifting all the way from the base of the pelvis to the heart. Expand out from the heart, but then send energy up also to the top of your head. Bring that loving energy back to your heart and back to your lap. So that's quite a nice, easy little mudra, but when we add the breath, the fun begins because all of that gesture of opening out is going to be done on a breath in. So it's going to be a lovely, delicious deep breath in. <laughs> See what you can do. So keep on expanding out as much as you can with the breath. So let's go. Breathing in. And out. Breathing in and out. Breathing in, energy rising. And out. Feeling that energy rise and expand. Again, breathing in. And out. One more. Extending, expanding. Breathing in. And out. Oxygen getting to all of the cells in the body. Hope you enjoyed that. We're going to move the shoulders, the upper body a little bit to add some of that mudra aspect to another sequence in a moment. So first let's lift the shoulders up and down, up and down, and then forward and back, and forwards and back. And then we'll rotate the shoulders back 
and we can rotate the shoulders forward. So really getting a juicy shoulder girdle, shoulder joint. Let's try that again. Lift the shoulders up. Let's take a breath in. Exhale, down they go. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, shoulders down. Forward, shoulders forward. Inhale. Exhale, shoulders back. Inhale, shoulders forward. Exhale, shoulders back. We can inhale, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, down they go. Inhale, roll the shoulders forward. Exhale, down they go. Mm, super. Take the fingertips to the shoulders. And we'll circle the arms. So you'll see your elbows move in space. But what we're circling is the ball shape of your top of your arm in the socket of your shoulder. Shall we move the other way around? <laughs> and we're getting juicier every roll of the ball. Nice. Then we'll take the elbows back and then bring the elbows forward, chin to chest. You can round your upper back a little here. Breathing in, lift the chin, opening up at the neck. Exhale, round in, elbows tuck. Again, breathing in and open. Exhale, round in. One more, inhale, open. Exhale, round in. Lovely, this time we'll open up the whole of the arms and then wrap the arms across, around. Give yourself a little bit of rotation. <clears throat> You can breathe just at your own pace here. Let your head follow the movement of the, the torso. Then we can corkscrew the spine and turn the head the opposite way of the torso. I feel like I'm in a straitjacket. Help. <laughs> well, I can get out of my straitjacket, come into center, and then I can reach and rotate and push out one arm forward, one arm back. And you might start to notice yourself moving on the chair a bit. So you can add even a little lift of your butt off the chair and start to get more of the core, the pelvis involved in the movement. You can move at different levels. And then we'll move to the right and hold the twist. So you can hold onto the chair, hold onto your leg, turn your head, and we'll take three really deep cleansing breaths within the twist. Rinsing out the organs. So the organs are coated in a serous fluid as well. And each breath is massaging and creating more fluid around the organs so they can glide around each other, optimizing their function. Nice. Let's come through center. And we're going to do the same on the other side. Catch hold wherever you can. Turn the head. There's a lot of rotation in the, in the neck muscles. And then full deep breathing, feel your ribs and your belly move. Mmm, super cleansing. Come back into center. And we are going to move in a little bit of um, a vinyasa flow. So seated vinyasa first. One breath per move if you can, or just breathe naturally. If you don't want it to impede your movement. Are we ready? <laughs> Let's take a breath in. And a breath out. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in, arms rise. Breath out, goal post arms, opening the chest, shoulder blades slide towards your back. Breath in, hinge forward at the hips. Breath out, fold down, 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 down. Head comes down. Breath in, lift your head and chest, looking up. Breath out, fold down. Breath in, let your right arm swing out to the side, turn your head to follow. Exhale down. Breath in, left arm. Exhale down. Breath in, rise all the way up. Breath out, take your right wrist to the left. Breath in, center. Breath out, other way. Breath in center, bring the arms back to goal post. Arms, take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, rotate to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Reach it all the way up 
as if you're pulling a rope, lift your butt off the chair a little bit and shake it out. We're going to try one more of the seated vinyasa. Okay, and same thing. Breathing in, open it out with the arms, breathe it out. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, coming to goalpost arms. Exhale here. Inhale, hinge forwards. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, lift your head and chest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right arm sweeps out, turn the head. Exhale down. Inhale, left arm. Exhale down. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, right wrist pulls to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, the side. Inhale, center. Bring the arms back into goalpost arms. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center. Reach it up. Climb a rope and get a little agitation in the base of the pelvis. The root chakra here is getting excited to move. Good thing about cheek. <laughs> and super shake it out. Wiggle it, shake it, stamp it. And uh, we're moving on to the next little vinyasa. So we're changing up the vinyasa a bit. I like this. And it's going to pose challenges along the way if you wish to take them. Always please listen to your body. That's the art of cultivating yoga awareness. So first we'll take the feet a little wider and we're going to circle out and feel the hip joint is getting a nice little motion here as we circle the upper body around the legs. This, I love this, stirring the pot. You can be as swoopy and swishy and serpent-like as you like. And you can turn that in the other direction. And who's to say how many turns in one direction? Maybe you want to switch it up. <laughs> and switch it up. And we're going to find out a center. So feel that the weight is even on your two sitting bones. If you're not sure about that, lean a little and then lean a little the other side. And you can tell then if you're nice and even. So the first thing I'd like to do before we do this little mini vinyasa is to make sure that we're getting the move, the motion here in the arms nicely. So if you take your arms out with the palms up and begin to rotate your arms so your palms start to turn back, so your palms press back. And we'll do that a few times, the palms coming up and the palms going back. And see if you can feel as you do this, that that ball that we were kind of rotating of the arm bone is turning out in its socket and then turning in in the socket. And let's get a little free range motion in there. That's going to be kind of important in the vinyasa that we're going to do next. Vinyasa, what is a vinyasa? We hear that a lot in yoga. Vinyasa just means it's a flow of move, one movement to another with breath. And I like this vinyasa. It's a, kind of a new one to me. So I hope I don't stumble too much, but I kind of like the flow when I get into it. Okay, so you can feel your feet on the ground and support it in your seat. Um, we we'll begin by opening up the palms, lifting the head and the chest, arching the back a little. And then exhale, we round in, but we take the arms back, just like we practice, but this time the head comes down. Breathing in, coming up again. Breathing out, flowing the arms back, palms back, round in with the upper body. We're going to do one more like that, breathing in. And breathing out, palms back. Come back into centre, we can put elbows down or uh, forearms onto the, the legs. Breathing in, we take the left arm up and over. Breathing out, we come back and do the other side. Breathing in and breathing out. We're going to do that two more times. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Super. Now we come back into our uh, uh, arms out a little to the side and we're going to twist, look at the right arm, take the other arm a little back. Come into center, twist. Now we look at the left arm, take the right arm a little back. Come into center. Let's go again to the other side, breathing in, looking at the hand, coming back. And to the other side, breathing in, 
and coming back. Super. Uh, we'll try it one more time in the seated position and then we go to a little challenge. Mm, what could the challenge be? <laughs> okay, me remembering you, that's probably the challenge. <laughs> okay, so let's try that again. Breathing in, open the palms, lift the chest so you're arching your back. Exhale, round your back, but press the palms back. Inhale, open like a flower. Exhale to round. One more. Inhale to open. Exhale to round. Inhale to open. Exhale, right forearm, left arm up and over. Inhale, come back. Exhale, other arm over. Inhale, come back. Let's do that again. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Let's bring our arms out to the side. Let's, we'll take a twist toward the right. Breathing in. Look at the hand. Keep the other arm a little back. Breathing out. Come back. Breathing in. Turning. Folding a little. Coming back. Again. Standing up again. Breathing in. Turning the head. Coming back. And again, one more. And back we go. Super. Shake it out. Stamp it out. We're going to activate the legs a little bit because we're going to try that vinyasa. Some of you might want to try that vinyasa not seated. So this is quite a challenge. So we're going to give some love and attention to all of the lower limb joints before we do that. So rub down the knees, the legs, and just practice a little bit. Decide, could I get into a position here, a horse position from the chair and, ex you know, explore? Can I be here? If you feel at any point that this is too much, you can <laughs> come down onto the chair. Otherwise, we're going to try that little vinyasa. This is really going to work those quads. So be kind to your knees. If this is too much, back off a little bit, come a little higher or sit down. Okay, are we going to try? Let's see. <laughs> Breathing in, lift the chest. Breathing out, fold. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, fold. One more, you're strong, powerful. Bring the right uh, elbow to the thigh, breathe in, lift it up across, and come back to center. Actually, I want to breathe in here, breathe out, take it across. Come back to center. Lovely, let's try it again, and up we go. Breathe in if you prefer to breathe in here. Come back to center. Breathe in, let's go. And back into center. Let's take the twist. So we go twist towards the right, other arm a little back. Back to center. Twisting again to the other side. Back to center. One more each side. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out, straighten out your legs, bring them together, give them a little tap, a little thumb, a little shake. <laughs> so even if you're seated now, we're gonna do a little bit of standing. Phew, that, that's such a good worker for your quadricep muscles to do that horse position. It's such a killer though, I love that. So I hope you've got a chair that you can use as a support now, so maybe you'll be able to move it a little to the side. And, um, we're going to do some balancing. It's absolutely super key uh, to good health, longevity, to be able to balance because every time you take a step, so as if you go to take a step, imagine you're taking a step, notice that you are on one leg. And when we kind of lose that as we get older, we start to take small steps and start to shuffle. Not so fantastic. So we're practicing balance. And one of the best ways to do that, I think, is tree pose but I like to play a little bit with tree pose because uh, it's also a hip opener. So choose a leg, it doesn't matter which side and come up onto the toes of the leg that is further away from the chair. And then we're going to wag the leg out and in. And if you can lift the foot off the floor, we can then also make a nice scoopy circle. So just like we move the shoulder, you know, you've got a nice ball and socket joint here. So you can feel the ball rolling. You can change direction of that ball. And then we can turn it out with the knee out. 
that's kind of opening out into this hip joint right here. Place the foot either toes down to the floor or onto your other leg. Then find that energy. Remember, we played a little with that energy. I'm going to put my other hand, my mudra hand, <laughs> into this base energy here, the root chakra, and sense the energy rising. And I can use the hand as a little model and flow the energy from the heart and out through to the top of the head. And again, I'm going to do that again. Sense that energy. If you want to use the other hand as a mudra and do the full thing, you can. Energy rising and spreading, and then you get branches. But if you're not com comfortable, do it with one hand. And try that one more time. Energy rising from the ground up through the body to the heart, radiate from the heart to the world, and the energy rises. And we're breathing and soften it down. How did that go? Is it, is it working for you? Give it a shake out of the legs. Very nice. We're going to do the same little sequence on the other side. And I like incorporating the mudra in too, just as a sense of, uh, I had was teaching someone the other day and she said, oh, but my legs feel so heavy. I want you to feel energy. The ground is like pushing its energy up through your body, helping your tree to sort of grow and shine brightly in the world. So let's try playing a little bit. First of all, finding the other leg rooted down. Come up onto the toes of the other foot and just turn the knee out and in. And you're wagging the leg in the socket. And you know, you could do this and it's super. <laughs> if you want to play a little more, then we'll take the leg up and rotate the joint. So you've always got the chair there. So you're, you know, you're safe. You can change direction. Yeah. And then we'll turn the leg out, placing toes on the floor or onto your leg. So as you know, the other side, I did that little mudra thing. If you feel more comfortable with your toes on the floor, you can do that. But I'm gonna place the hand where we began with the mudra and sense energy rising all the way from my foot up through the leg and then through the base of the pelvis, root chakra up toward the heart, you're getting taller and radiate that energy out to the world. And you have a branch. <laughs> and you might try that again and breathing in, feeling the energy rising, rising, rising. And if you want to do two hands, you could try. Energy rising, branching out. And a tree, lovely trees, everybody. Super, <laughs> shake it out, step it out. We're going to do one more pose today that's a balanced pose. We have time. If you have your chair at the ready, you feel that, let's bring it back to the chair because then you can have a choice whether you want to <laughs> not stand and do it. So I'm going to do eagle pose today. But if you start to feel that the balance is a challenge, you've got the chair there and you can uh, sit in it. So what we'll do to begin this is just to crisscross a leg over and crisscross a leg over. That's fun pose. <laughs> but it's the beginnings of eagle pose. So the little balance there, you can stand a little onto, let's do the left leg and cross the right leg over. And I want you to squeeze your thighs together. Really squeeze, 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 squeeze. As if you want to sit in a chair, but don't go too low. And then come back. Now, this is where you get to decide, do I, you can sit in the chair to do the same thing and cross your legs and squeeze. That's not the end of the pose. So let's just try that on the other side. Cross your left leg over your right. Squeeze. So there's that energy is squeezing and drawing and helping you draw the energy through your chakras. Then sit a little, sit, sit down in it just a little. Squeeze things together. This is nice for pelvic floor training too. You can maybe feel the pelvic floor lift a little bit and then come back. Okay, so standing just for a moment, we'll take the arms out nice and wide. And we're gonna add the arms. So eagles, eagles don't have arms, do they? <laughs> the eagle wings. So you can wrap your right wing over your left and you can either stay in this hugged position um, 
or you can bring the arms back to back and some of you might be able to catch the fingers into the palm of the hand. Just like we did with the thighs, squeeze, squeeze the energy of the arms into your center line. Don't forget to breathe there. Then unwrap, unfold, wings come alive. We're gonna do the same with the other arm wrapping over the top. So the left arm wraps over. You might reach and hug your shoulder blades, squeeze in, or you might have the arms back to back or into this mudra, this gesture with the hands. Squeeze. You feel it in your shoulders. Ooh, and then let it go. Combination time to get eagle pose. So um, let's take the right leg over the left. And you can, the next level, if you want the balance, is to hug the foot around the thigh. But don't try your uh, calf, I mean, but don't try that unless you're really certain. So we begin like this. Take the arms out and then you wrap your left arm over your right and come into the mudra here or into hugging your shoulders. You can choose to sit down if you need to or we sit down just a little bit and maybe take the other toes off the floor. You adapt the balance to your ability, your needs today. It's not the same every day. Then breathe. Full breath in and out. Squeeze the arms, squeeze the legs together. Feel the still energy rising from the base of your pelvis through your body. And then we're going to let the eagle fly. Whoosh! <laughs> Good job, everybody. <laughs> Little shake out of the wings. We're going to do that on the other side. I hope you're getting a good workout here in your balances. So shift the weight to the other leg. I think it's your right leg, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Whichever one. Cross the leg over. Then we take our wings. And whichever leg is over the top, you cross the other arm over the top. Hug in, I'm, I'm seeing these lovely uh, eagles here. If you can take the arms together so that the hands and fingers touch into the palm, okay? That's a big challenge, but if you can do it, and some of you can, I see it, then maybe you wanna take your toes off the ground, I don't know, or sit in your seat. Squeeze into center, hug energy to the center of you by pressing the arms, pressing the thighs and a little lift of the base of the pelvis. So root chakra is rising, breathe. Centered, focused, strong, balanced. Eagles fly. <laughs> Lovely, Ooh, shake it out. And I think we're ready to do a little chair pose, but with the chair behind us. So as if you're gonna sit in the chair, you can take the arms forward, feel the strength in your legs, super powered, you're super powered. And soft seat coming down. Oh my gosh, good job. That's so lovely to see all of you lovely people doing eagle pose, it's so good. Give it a roll of your shoulders. And uh, I think it's time for us to take the strap belt, uh, whatever you've got there. And we're going to, oh, yeah, we'll keep that on the lap. Take it, keep it on your lap. I'm going to do a little something before I do these series of stretches. The brain's calculating. <laughs> so we're going to do some work stretching out the hamstrings in the chair. But I want to stretch the quads a little bit first because we've actually done a lot there with the quads. So quads are these muscles here on your thighs, four of them. They connect over just underneath your kneecap here. It's a little bumpy bone. You can feel that bumpy bone actually quite easily. Go underneath your kneecap. And that's where the quadriceps attach. So if we're going to stretch this, uh, we're going to have to turn to the side. You can go either side. It doesn't matter. You can hold onto the chair and then stretch this knee downwards. Sometimes people don't like the stretch in the foot with this one. You can always have your toes curled or foot flat, whichever feels right. We get a nice stretch down here into the front of the thigh. To add, we're really getting into the hip flexor here. You can lift that same side arm up, 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 take it a little over and stretch. Take a nice deep breath in and out. And again, full deep breath. And out, one more, really feel that energy rise as you breathe. Ah, bring that all the way back. 
That felt so good. This is a nice one to do throughout your day if you sit in a chair a lot. I know chairs, if they have arms, it's a little tricky. I hope your chair doesn't have arms here. You need to be a little on the edge of the chair too here. So your weight's on just one sit bone and the other sit bone is kind of dangling a little bit. So bringing the knee down, you can either have the toes curled or the toes flat on the floor. It's a different stretch to your foot, so you decide. Then we'll reach it up. Reach your knee down and your fingers up and arc a little bit across to the back of the chair. Take a deep breath in. Full breath out. Empty completely. Full breath in. Ah. You got one more breath here? Why not? <laughs> Super release the arm down. Come back into center. So, um, you know, the, the muscles, the hip flexors we were just stretching, they connect into your diaphragm, your breathing muscle. So when we do that lovely deep breath, we're stretching into the hip flexors, which is so healthy for us. Find for that strap thing then. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put the strap around the ball of the right foot. And I'm gonna play a little seesaw. So I'm gonna hold the strap with both hands and do a little lift and stretch. Try to actually lift the knee towards you and then push out with the ball of the foot. And maintain that lovely flow. But try not to be too tense in your shoulders as you do this, relax there. And I'm, I'm using a bit of force from the ball of my foot to push the strap. Oh, crack, it went. <laughs> now I'm gonna sit tall and hold out the strap and I'll keep it in same side hand, I think. And the taller we sit and feel the energy rise from the root chakra, the base, all the way through to the crown of the head. Rather than slumping, that's gonna give a little more stretch to the muscles at the back of your thigh. Nice deep breath in. And full breath out. Then we can start to take the leg out toward the side and open out the other arm so you're at the diagonal. Now turn your head to look at the hand. Give yourself a nice deep breath. Just sensing the pulse of the breath, the flow of the breath. Come back into center. Take the strap in your other hand and let the leg go across your body. Then open that arm, twisting the torso, twisting your head toward the outreached hand. Follow the breath in and the breath out. Come back into center. Now bend the leg and you can cross the leg over at the calf or you can bring it higher and place it over the knee. Be generous to each knee. If this puts pressure or causes pain, come less, hold it lower. But here's another challenge if you want a little more, it's can you fold a little bit forwards? So at least no slumping, but if you can, an additional lean forwards with the chest. And then we're breathing in like two or three nice deep breaths. Sensing in your body, where are the tugs and pulls happening? And can I breathe into that? <laughs> Super duper. Let's let that go. Take off the strap, let the leg come down. And we're gonna do the sequence on the other side. So ball around, uh, strap around the ball of the foot. Hold on comfortably, not too tight with the grip. And then we're just gonna lever the knee towards you and then the knee straightening. And doing that a few times, it's kind of warming up the muscles before we stretch them. And I think we can settle into the stretch now. Push out your heel, put your toes up toward the ceiling or even towards you. And then make sure, am I sitting tall? So. The energy is rising from the base all the way out through the crown of the head. You could put a crown onto your head, <laughs> very regal. 
And then follow the breath in and out. Super, take the strap into the same side hand. The leg goes out to the side. Like a little light beam, so does the arm. You have a beautiful diagonal here. Turn your head to follow the tip of the diagonal. Try to relax the other arm so it's not too tight a grip. And nice deep breath. Bring the limbs back into center line and crisscross over. Change the hand that's holding the strap. Reach the leg across the body. And let's come back to that lovely diagonal in a twist. Head follows the fingers. Breathing, following the breath. Easy breaths. Bring that back to center, bend into the leg and start to move into what is called a figure four pose or a pigeon pose in yoga. You can, you're kind of getting a little opening into the hip joint again. If you can, you can bring the leg a little higher. Maybe you don't need to hold with the strap. Maybe it's comfortable to hold with the strap. Do you notice the difference on the sides? This is so much tighter for me. Maybe this is your easy side. So, you know, where do you feel it? And we kind of accept what we feel and surrender to that and breathe into it. And then a little more, if you need it, is to hinge a little forward at the hip joint. Does that change the stretch? Let the breath be your friend to release any tension and to be with yourself in this moment. We will take away the strap, bring both feet onto the ground, you can put the strap down, take the feet a little wider again, make a nice scoopy circle, and bring that in the other direction. Super. Then we're going to center ourselves and heel toe the feet back towards each other, and then take one foot, give it a little point and flex. I'm waving at you because it's almost time to say goodbye. <laughs> Shall we say goodbye with the other foot? <laughs> and then we can come back to the first foot and do a little circle there. And a little circle the other way. And same on the other side, just so we get these joints moving. And then two feet beautifully placed on the ground. And we'll finish with, just with that little mudra once more. Keep it throughout your day, energy rising. Hands at the root, breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in, energy rises. Breathing out. And one more, enjoying this movement. Expansion. And release. And this time the hands are going to find their way together in another mudra at the heart, in this Anjali mudra. And it's a, a, a motion to say a heart connection, uh, greetings to you, love and light to you, health and wellness to you. Uh, namaste. Have a fabulous day today. Expand your light into the world. And enjoy your day. <laughs>